What's up guys, Miyagi on the trail. Today I'm going to show you how to retrofit your smart water bottle for better use on the trail. It's a lightweight option and it gives you a lot more versatility. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So here's what you'll need for the project. One source brand Convert Tube Kit, which contains the hose, mouthpiece, and a number of different adapters. We'll be using the standard 28mm adapter, which will fit the smart water bottles that many hikers are already using out on the trail. I found the Convert Tube Kit on Amazon for $24. Next, you'll need something to attach the finished water bottle system to your pack in a convenient place on your shoulder strap. I've got a few options depending on what kind of backpack you'll be using. For those that have daisy chain cross webbing, such as on this Z-Pax Arc Blast, the Z-Pax Aqua Clip holder is an option. The bottle easily snaps into this holder, and a little added elastic cord at the bottom keeps the bottle from moving around while you're hiking. A second option is the Bison brand bottle carrier. The circular opening fits perfectly over the neck of a smart water bottle. I've replaced the larger carabiner for a smaller one to cut down on the bulk and overall weight. Many backpacking companies such as Z-Packs and Gossamer Gear carry these small carabiners and you can find them on Amazon as well. Attach the smaller carabiner directly to the bottle carrier or use some micro cord or something similar as I've done here. And of course you'll need some water bottles. The most popular on the trail seem to be the smart water bottle 700 milliliter and 1 liter bottles. The 700 milliliter is a perfect choice for this project and a size that's very manageable for the front of your pack. Save that flip top cap that comes with the bottle and at the end of this video I'll share a bonus hack that incorporates your Sawyer Squeeze water filter. Plus, it's always good to have a replacement cap in your spare parts bag. Unboxing the Convert Tube Kit. Inside the kit you'll find the following parts. One 63mm adapter, one 42mm adapter, one 24mm adapter, and the adapter we'll be using for this project, the standard 28mm adapter. The first three adapters are used for other sized bottles and can be reboxed and set aside for other projects. The silicone mouthpiece does come with a black plastic cap and attached cord and in my opinion is unnecessary weight and can be eliminated from our project. However, I will caution you. After a recent AT trip, I woke up to find that a mouse had nibbled on the silicone tip of my mouthpiece. No doubt it was attracted to the scent of the flavored water that I had been drinking prior to arriving at the shelter that day. Some of you might want to take the weight penalty of the black plastic cap and attachment cord for this reason alone. As stated, the 63mm cap isn't needed but could be used to convert a Nalgene type bottle using this method. The 24mm cap can be used for non-standard water bottles such as the Evian. The 42mm cap is designed for internally threaded metal water bottles such as the Sig brand bottle. I have a separate video to convert the popular Hydropack water bottle to one which will mate with the Sawyer Squeeze water filter using this 42mm uh, cap. The hack that I'll be showing you cuts this tube size down from 34 inches to approximately 2 to 3 inches depending on the final position of the water bottle on your shoulder strap. The Convert Tube system is designed to provide the hiker the convenience of a bladder hydration system in a standard store bought water bottle such as the Smart Water Bottle. By keeping your water source on the outside of your pack, you can more easily refill your bottles on the go and eliminates the risk of getting the internal components of your backpack wet should the hydration bladder fail. With a bottle on your shoulder strap, a number of benefits are achieved. The tube length of the system is significantly shortened, meaning that the weight of the original system is significantly reduced. In fact, the entire finished project only weighs one ounce, which is basically a half of a Snickers bar. By having it on your shoulder, you can easily see the contents of your bottle and how fast you're consuming it. This is helpful for those long stretches between water sources. Refilling is easily achieved by simply unclipping or unsnapping the bottle from its mount. And finally, positioning the bottle to the front of your pack helps to counterbalance your heavy pack. Step number one, measuring the drinking tube. The plastic tube, which is free of PVC and BPA, is actually two tubes in one. There's an inner plastic tube that slides up and down, allowing you to customize the project to the exact size of the water bottle you'll be using. In the example here, we're using the 700 milliliter smart water bottle. Simply hold the cap flush with the rim of the water bottle and slide the inner tube down the length of the bottle. This will ensure that you get every last drop out of the bottle as you consume it. Once measured, 
screw the cap back onto the bottle to ensure the inner tube reaches the bottom of the bottle. Step 2. Measuring the outer tube. With the cap screwed on, measure 2 inches from the base of the cap up the tube, marking it with a black sharpie. Using a sharp scissors, cut the tube at this mark. Step number 3. Trimming the inner tube for the mouthpiece. Unscrew the cap and slide the inner tube out the top approximately 1 inch and snip this off with your scissors. This is done to accommodate the mouthpiece that you will need to reinstall onto the system. Step 4. Reinstalling the mouthpiece. Take a box cutter or X-Acto knife and carefully cut the plastic tubing off the mouthpiece. Be cautious and use a cutting board underneath as the blade may eject forcefully after cutting through the plastic tube. Because of the thickness of the tubing, you may need to run the blade over the cut a number of times. Once cut, simply twist and peel the tubing from the mouthpiece. Finally, take the mouthpiece and reinsert it into the tubing of your project. This process does take some force as the diameter of the tubing is rather thick and if you're having difficulty it may help to run the tubing under extremely hot tap water before attempting this. Once you have reinstalled the mouthpiece your project is almost done. The final step is to install your attachment device to your backpack. The most universal option I've found thus far is the Bison brand bottle carrier. This is a rubberized holder that slips over the neck of your smart water bottle. On one end of the holder is a tab, which makes installation and removal much easier. On the other end is a tube for the attachment of a carabiner to your pack. As I stated earlier, I've replaced the larger carabiner with a smaller one to save weight and it reduces the profile of the holder. Simply take off the drinking system and slide the holder over the neck of your bottle. Reinstall the drinking system and clip the carabiner onto your pack shoulder strap at your desired height. Add stability to the system by inst installing a small length of elastic cord to the bottom of your shoulder strap, which will loop around the bottom of the bottle. For other packs, such as my Z-Packs Arc Blast, I've experimented with the new Z-Packs AquaClip bottle holder. The Arc Blast has cross-stitched daisy chain webbing which allows for the installation of the AquaClip. Simply thread the provided double-sided Velcro slips through the daisy chain and secure the aqua clip to the shoulder strap. While the aqua clip itself seems to be a very stable platform for your water bottle, I've installed a small loop of elastic cord at the bottom of my shoulder strap to keep the bottles from moving even in the roughest of terrain. Once complete, simply take your smart water bottle and snap it into your shoulder strap. Complete the system by looping the bungee cord around the bottom half of your water bottle and you're all set to hit the trail. This provides a nice stable platform and an easy way to consume your beverages along the trail. The mouthpiece does swivel in a 360 degree fashion for your convenience. Well that's it. But wait, there's more. That flip top cap that came with your smart water bottle, <laughs> don't throw it away. The diameter of the cap opening fits the Sawyer Squeeze water filter perfectly and can be used to replace the heavy syringe that comes with the kit for back flushing. Save the weight and keep this cap in your spare parts kit. Back flush your filter using your existing water bottles or the HydroPack system shown in my upcoming video. While this system might not be for everyone, it's definitely worked for me and just might be an option for you. Remember, this is just one of many ways of doing things out on the trail, and as always, hike your own hike. If you like this hack, consider leaving a comment below and subscribing to our channel. Thanks again for watching everyone, and happy trails.